Uh, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Oh, thank God, thank God. Whew, we didn't crash. Um, a lot of beat cuts, a lot of filtering. What's up, RPG? Eric Jr. here, and today we're gonna be breaking down the beat for Escape. Let's get into it. All right, boom, so first thing I did was make this main loop, which sounds like this. I don't know what the notes are, and I don't remember the preset I used, but I can tell you that the plugin I used was the Prince. Probably used the uh, leads preset patches. So somewhere in these leads presets is the one I used. I have no idea which one it is though, so good luck. This beat is dummy simple. Actually, probably one of the simplest beats I've ever made that ended up becoming a song. I was actually inspired by a, a Yeet song when I made it. I just wanted to make something kind of similar and fun. It's ended up sounding nothing like the original reference, but just some context for you guys. So individually, this is synth on top. And because it's such a simple loop, I ended up doing just a lot of little variations, beat cuts, a lot of filtering. Hold on. Oh, uh, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Oh, thank God, thank God. Whew, we didn't crash. Um, a lot of beat cuts, a lot of filtering. Just like small stuff like that to add little bits of effects, and then obviously at the end, the little... That's probably my favorite sound in the whole beat. I remember when I first heard that, I actually almost wanted to redo the whole beat and make it more of this, just that loop, the high octave. But I realized that it sounds good because it's in contrast to hearing the same loop over and over again. So I ended up leaving it how it was. Bottom loop is the kind of top line synth that you hear. Same thing as before, just filtering octaves and stuff like that. So try to keep it interesting. Next is the drums. This is what they sound like all together. What I'm most proud of with these drums is the snare. This shit just cracks so fucking hard. All I did was stack a few sounds on top of each other and kind of overcook the processing and, you know. And then, add some delay on the snare, add some reverb. Whenever I make beats, I think one of my biggest superpowers is the fact that I'm not trained professionally. I didn't go to fucking Full Sail University. I don't make beats for other people to get placements. So I kind of have a lot of freedom in terms of just doing weird shit that isn't really conventional or might not sound good to most people, but to me, it just seems kind of fun without having that fear of, damn, why are people gonna like it? Because as long as I'm rapping on it, I know at least you're gonna like the rapping. And if you don't like the rapping, you'll probably like the beat. And if you don't like either, then fuck you. But, <laughs> but I love this snare. This is one of my favorite snares I've ever made in my life. Just sounds so good. Sounds like a baseball bat cracking a home run. Then I added this other snare on top just to kind of add some bounce. Little stuff like that. You get the idea. The hi-hats are kind of cool too because I actually redid some of them after I recorded my verse to match the flow and add some dynamics. This is what they sound like. Honestly, I feel like when it comes to making trap beats, my hi-hat game is probably one of my weakest aspects because I just, I don't listen to a whole lot of trap like all the time. And like, there's a certain bounce that, you know what I mean? When you're really just a producer and you just feel for it, you can kind of get, I, I always end up having to finesse it a little bit, but I think it's cool because it ends up making it, you know, my type of sound, I guess. Even if it's not the best shit in the world, at least it can feel a little different. So yeah, if you actually go back and listen to the song, you'll notice that there's a lot of parts where the hi-hats match my cadence of rapping almost perfectly and then sometimes it'll, it won't yeah i was just messing around with it seeing what felt good what other sounds are in here oh this cool perk sound this little like i mean i don't know if you would call it a perk but it's like sound effect i don't know where i got that shit from but it sounded like fire this right here i only use this one time that's funny more of a sound effect than drums but my organization isn't really the best i just be throwing shit wherever and let the dice fall where they may Everything else is pretty standard until you get to the bass. Holy shit. This stupid fucking bass. Y'all, this shit almost made me quit producing. I swear to God. this I mixed this song at least 45 times, maybe 50, maybe more over the course of about a year, just because the bass wasn't sitting right. As most of you know, I'm self-taught through YouTube University. So the fact that I made it this far is a fucking miracle. 
And it wasn't until I did 75 hard and got to day 68 that I actually had the confidence to dig deep and finish the song. I think it was around the thir day 30-ish when the confidence started kicking in. And I was like, yo, I can do this. I know that this song has been kicking my ass for the past like six months, but I will finish this song. Yeah, I ended up finishing it, so that was cool. But just so y'all can see, check this out, bruh. So this is the Ableton. Uh, this is all the, all the different times that I exported a mix, hoping that it would sound good. And it ended up sounding good. Like version eight, I thought this was gonna be the final one. Wasn't the final one. Not even close. See, look, version 14 is in here. This literally says I should have quit 50 mixes ago. <laughs> I was so frustrated. And to me personally, it's easily one of the worst songs. Worst being a relative term. It's a great song just compared to all the other amazing songs on the album. It's one of the worst songs on the album, but I probably spent the most amount of time on it, which is crazy to think. Where is it? Where is it? Huh? Tim Grover, man. Y'all know. You know, you know. So this is how it sounds. fucking hard the reason why it took so long to to mix is because the bass sample that i used was so bad yeah I, so i started off with one bass sample and then i tried doing this like bass trick where you have two bases but one of them is like you cut out the lows and i don't know don't don't worry about the, the details and then i ended up switching the bass entirely and just using a whole different one that sounded kind of similar and uh, i had to remix the whole thing it was a nightmare it was it was a nightmare long story short but we finally got it Melody. Hey, hey, hey. Fire in the booth, fire in the booth. So at this point, the song was pretty much finished and my videographer had, had hit me up to do a music video actually and he wanted something he basically described the type of video he wanted to shoot and it was basically this song to a t so i was like oh shoot i, I have something for you and i sent it over and we shot the video but then after but the video was taking a while to, to to edit and to finish because we had to do multiple shoots and he's a very busy person which is understandable and i wasn't going to put it out for a long time anyway so i was fine but in the meantime because i had spent so much time with the song i felt like something was missing and it just felt super empty and cold so I ended up adding a bunch of sound effects, as you can see, a bunch of sound effects. And this really made the beat. Shout out to Cody, because I learned this from him, that some beats you don't need to add a whole bunch of extra instruments and melodies to. You just need to add some, some ear candy and some sound effects to really make it pop. So I think it really starts, I mean, even from the very beginning, like the intro, you hear the, uh, these like sounds in the background. And what was dope was that when I sent my videographer this new version, part of me was scared because I thought, oh shit, I hope he hasn't like done a lot of editing to where the sound effects are going to throw things off now. He's going to have to redo it. But then he was like, bro, the sound effects make the video better. And it gives me more of a visual and more of an idea of how to edit it. And, and I realized when I watched it, like a lot of the editing is done to the sound effects, which is super, super cool. So a little pro tip for you guys. You can definitely go overboard with it. You got to be careful, but um, it's very fun. So let's just listen to some of the sound effects. Little movie reel. This sound effect is probably my favorite because to me personally, I think of Super Smash Bros. When you do the 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 bat the bat swing thingy, I, I don't know how to explain it, but if you know, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and I just I love the sound. I I got all these sound effects from the well, not all of them, but 99% of them from the Cody sound effects kit, and uh, some of them I just uh, ripped from YouTube. A little bit of cheering. I mean. oh, Navi, you know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. Um, oh, I lied actually. That is one, although this is one of my favorite sound effects in this beat, my favorite sample definitely has to be. You triggered my <laughs> if you know, you know, man. Yu Gi Oh! is such an amazing show. I cannot wait to get old and just be able to rewatch all my childhood shows but yeah that is the beat guys thank you so much for watching guys uh that's pretty much all i got uh if you haven't already listened to escape listen to escape side note i just want to add this part in for future me when i watch this back i'm so proud of you eric this is the fourth time you recorded this video and you could have given up every time 
technically you did give up every time because you you know you stopped and then you came back but usually whenever i i have technical difficulties and i get frustrated i just say fuck it it wasn't meant to be and i just give up and i never do it but i made a commitment i was like i don't care how many times it takes i'm going to learn how to screen record i'm going to learn how to edit and make this video happen and um i made it fucking happen and i'm, I'm proud of myself for that so oh yeah actually uh fuck fuck watching the um don't listen to the song. Go watch the music video because you're, you're on, we're on YouTube right now. So, boom. It's probably it's probably somewhere up here. I'm probably going to put it up here. Y'all go crazy, man. I'm out. Peace. Go be great. Remember, uh, playing is winning or something. I'm going to come up with a slogan soon. Bye-bye. Jenna.